What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here, this is a Late Night Garage. I'm going to be taking off this upper and lower plenum. And we're going to be replacing it with this Kinetics upper plenum. And this MREV2 lower plenum. Now you're probably wondering why this one's black. Um, same as this. I actually sprayed them with the, I think it's DEI. So they have a paint that's supposed to protect up to... Um, 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. I also have their heat um, shield that I'm actually going to be putting on the bottom of this and Before I install it. That's what I'll have to do So these are both treated with that. Um, I let them bake for about six hours at around 250 and One more thing I want to do is take off the lower runners and get them treated with this stuff, too Another thing I wanted to show real quick is this is the old gasket to um, the kinetics. They come with a cork. I don't like it, so I actually tore it all off because it actually was taking um, oil and sucking up the oil. And the adhesive was actually falling apart. So we're going to be using black RTV, I think it is, um, to seal this up, which should make a good seal between the two. So first we want to take off the battery. You can actually pull off the throttle body before you take off the plenum or you can just take off the plenum and pull off the throttle body after. We'll probably do that. So what you want to do is unplug it right there. And now we'll just start unbolting all the sides and these six of the plenum. So one thing to remember is that the bolts in the back are longer than the bolts in the front. So next, we're going to remove the hoses. And we're going to remove this bottom one just so it's out of the way. Might be a little tough. The upper intake. So with the throttle body, you just gotta take an Allen wrench or Allen bit and just take out the four bolts and we can remove that. And also on the bottom of that um, throttle body, you're gonna have Actually, it's on the intake, but you're going to have these two hoses that you're going to want to unclamp. I have mine put together with a, a fitting to make it to where they can stay together. Uh, just because I don't drive it during winter, only summer, so I don't need the intake plenum being heated up like they do. As you can see, this is the stock lower plenum. Uh, we also have the gasket right here. So, we'll start by unbolting these and um, yeah those are tens so most of these bolts we're going to be re reusing so take this off and set that aside next the gasket should come off so there's a 10 right here and a 10 back there I'm going to take off this right here. These are tens. They're pretty long bolts. You're going to need them for the other plenum too. So just hold on to those. All right, should be time to pull it off. Just like that. So we'll be removing the gasket. We have 
the uh, fuel lines, the injectors, and the clips to them. <sighs> so, I'll have to take this off. I might have to go get some gaskets for these lower ones. I don't know if I ever changed them out. Can't remember. But, uh, yeah, we'll get to that. Uh, just be careful because some of the fuel will come out. And when you start your car back up, you'll have to prime it a couple of times to get the fuel back in. And I think that's about it, really. We're going to take that off. These bolts are going to be 12s, all four. So we're going to pull up on this and this is going to bring out the injectors. Just be careful with them, try not to damage them. There we go. Okay, so there are all 12s that we're going to be taking off. I'm actually going to vacuum some of this out real quick. couple things on the back um, there's a piece of plastic you just got to pry out and then to this you just got to push this little green piece down and then the metal piece will actually slide out too so this is what the lower one looks like so I'm gonna take that to work and get that all cleaned up and then we'll spray underneath here and we'll spray the outsides and that should keep most of it pretty damn cool which is the main thing we want. I've never seen all the way down here before. This is my first time being this far down. Um, I'm probably going to bust out the vacuum again and clean some of this up. Maybe clean up inside of these. There's a little bit of oil in there. I think I can get it to look a little bit better. A little gunked up. I can feel it. Um, but yeah, other than that, I mean, it's pretty simple. Um, there's some iffy spots like pulling out the injectors. I gotta get these seals out. And then I gotta put uh, one of the seals back on on this. Just wanted to show a quick update. It's uh... Basically day two on uh, working on this stuff. So I went through and vacuumed all of this out. And I went and sprayed it down with degreaser, cleaned it up on both sides, and then sucked out all the water. So what I'm going to do with that, <clears throat> since you can see the cylinder, basically see the cylinder wall right there. That's, uh, that's going to give off a good amount of heat, of course. So the plan, of course, is to it with some of this high temp coating and I also have the lower plenum that's gonna go on there and it shined up really nice uh, when they were cleaning it in the chemical bath and it just looks really cool this is the bottom and just looks really nice all blacked out so that should um, definitely cool everything down especially down here uh, this is all going to be sprayed. I think this middle passage, I think that's a coolant passage. So that will also be a nice thing to kind of uh, bring the temp down in. So that's not all rising. It does escape, I guess, from here. But uh, definitely nice. Also, I went through and cleaned out these. I got all of the sticky, gunky oil off of all of them.
and I'm very excited because now they're completely freshly cleaned. The intake is clean with no oil. The lower runners are clean with no oil. Here we are. I just got done um, silicone heat treatment. Um, you're supposed to let it bake for two hours under 400 degrees. Um, obviously we can't do that. So I'm just gonna let this sit because this is what I used. High temp silicone coating. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start putting everything back together. I'm gonna take that off. I'm gonna tape it up and I'm gonna spray it and I'm gonna let that sit overnight. I wish I could do this black. Um, we did timing before. I don't wanna take the cover off. So before I go ahead and toss on this bottom piece, I wanted to go ahead and do a quick um, heat shield with the uh, DEI stuff that I actually have for the lower plenum over here. I've already cut out. So I added extra. I have never done this. I'm excited to do this. Yeah, it's gonna be my first time, so we'll see what definitely happens with uh, all of this. have the lower lower intake manifold in and I did the whole painting and then we also have the lower plenum with that heat shield which is actually pretty cool because we did that on both of those and I just installed the upper kinetics with the sprayed silicone on top so that's all good here we are with the finish of everything so I got the lower stuff on uh, I got my intake on I went ahead and just sprayed the heat shield just to make it match because it was like a really faded gold look so yeah that's about it oh um also sprayed the throttle body so yeah that's about it for the video um it's about I, I would say a month uh past now I wanted to see how this would perform um, over a couple of weeks. And what I've noticed is after driving for like an hour, this is still cool to the touch, which is really nice. Um, you can put your hand down here and it does, it's not hot like um, it usually would be. So what I'm thinking is it might not seem like it makes a difference on the outside, but you gotta remember this stuff is supposed to like block heat from either getting in or out like on exhaust or headers. So what I'm thinking is most of this stuff is just protecting the heat from like getting in. Um, it seems like it has a deeper, like a deeper um, growl or rumble, I guess you would say, but it just, it seems to perform a lot better, I personally think. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, if you like the video or find it helpful, uh, please like and subscribe and uh, 
Stay tuned for different content. I know I got some other stuff coming up. Uh, if you can see the background, I got some other stuff. So, yeah, I just got to get stuff rolling. And, uh, yeah, so thanks for watching.